Hello and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new here. My name is Charlotte and I am a Squarespace SEO expert and I am so excited for today's video because today we are going to be talking all about how to come up with topics or ideas that you can pitch to other websites to get a backlink back to your website. I know that title is very confusing, but basically what we're doing here is if you want a backlink on another website, you often are going to need to pitch that website and say, hey, I have an idea for something that would be mutually beneficial. Here's a cool topic or subject or angle or whatever that you can do on your website that links back to mine. And then usually the thing is once you pitch someone, remember that they're always looking for content ideas for their own website. So they're much more likely to be like, oh, well, here's an action plan. I can just follow it and use that on my own website. And they're way more likely to do it. Whereas if you just send someone an email being like, hi, I would like to get a backlink. Here's my website. Like, obviously they're not going to do that. You know, it's, you need to make it as easy as possible for the other website to do it. So if you haven't already, I really recommend that you watch this video that I'm linking to up above. And that video is all about how you can identify other websites to pitch a backlink to, okay? So figuring out other websites in your niche, whatever it happens to be. And now in this video, we're gonna be talking about, okay, once you've got the list of websites to pitch, now what do you pitch them okay so this is what we are going to be covering today so one of the things that i wanted to mention before we do get started is i also have a squarespace seo checklist and i'm going to link to that down below because if you are interested in squarespace seo which you probably are if you're here watching this video then you're going to want to grab a copy of this checklist it's a free download it will literally walk you through a b c d e f g all of the things you need to do step by step in order to make sure that you haven't forgotten anything on the Squarespace SEO front. So again, the Squarespace SEO checklist, I'll leave a link to it down below um, and you can take a look at it. It's been downloaded by thousands and thousands of people. So you're an excellent company. But now let's get into this video topic. So again, we're talking about different pitch ideas you can give to other websites so that you can get a backlink to it. Okay. And I'm going to go through a list here. I've got like, you know, quite a few different options, but I'll, I'll give them each one to you and then talk a little bit about it. And then you can pick maybe going through the list and see that, oh, some of them are obviously going to be a much better fit for you than others, just depending on the type of website you have, the business you have, all that sort of thing. Okay. So let's get started with probably the most common one that you might hear recommended, and that is to pitch some sort of blog guest blog post to another website. And I actually have a video up here that talks about the value of guest blog posting for Squarespace SEO. So if you're interested in that, take a look at the video that I've linked to up here. But basically, this is a fantastic way to do any sort of like yeah, guest blog post on somebody else's website. Okay. So you can do whatever you want to do. You can take charge of the whole thing. Be like, Hey, I'm doing the entire topic, teaching a lesson, giving step-by-steps, you know, sharing my story, whatever it happens to be. But often a guest blog post is kind of where you start and you're taking the big brunt of it. And they're just usually doing an intro being like, Hey guys, today's post is going to be done by Charlotte from blah, blah, blah. Right. So that's probably the most obvious one. Then the second one that I wanted to talk to you about is you would pitch maybe a Q and A. Okay, so you've identified maybe another website, another person in a similar rela related niche, whatever it happens to be, and you pitch, hey, why don't we do a Q and A together? It could be like maybe you ask them questions that they then answer, or on the flip side, you say, here's a list. Why don't you ask me these questions and I answer them? And that can be really fun. I recommend for that maybe saying like here's five to 10 questions we can start. And it's really fun. It's a bit more interactive. People love a Q&A and they're very easy to do as well. That's the nice thing, right? They're, they usually don't require a lot of research or prep work or something. They're like fast to publish. So we love that. Okay. The third different type of backlink idea that you might want to pitch is to do sort of like, you know, five facts you didn't know or you know, five things about something, right? So sharing facts or things you didn't know or whatever it happens to be, that can be really beneficial. And again, that positions you as an expert. So you are going on to another website and teaching their audience things that they might know about 
whatever topic related to your niche, your industry, your area of expertise. So again, this is a great way to not only get in front of the audience, but position yourself as an expert. You are teaching someone things they don't know, or yeah, like facts, things you don't know, whatever it happens to be. It's education. So again, you are teaching someone something. Then the fourth point is maybe a do's and don'ts. I love this. Personally, I think that this is such a fun way to do it. So it's like, five things to do here or five things not to do on this. And again, you can pick the angle, whatever it happens to be related to your industry, your niche, your business, your area of expertise, whatever. But I love sharing a kind of do's or don'ts or a combination of the two. And again, these are really quick to do. They're not like, they don't require you to do a lot of research, prep, planning, like, you know, these things, you can pull it from your brain, you probably know this, like, you know, the back of your hand. And so why don't you just share that with somebody else, right? Again, it's excellent. Okay, next one, I recommend doing kind of like a tips and tricks thing, right? So again, this is kind of similar, but we're doing a different take on it. And you can be like, you know, 10 tips for blah, 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 or five tricks for planning, blah, 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 or something, right? So again, it's a nice like little, you can hear kind of called like a listicle or something, like a hit list of being like, boom, 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 like quick wins for the person who's reading it. And again, this is just a good way. It's quick to do, easy. You can kind of angle it and, you know, find your own focus depending on what you're talking about. But I love tips and tricks. It can be really helpful. And it kind of gives a bit of a like behind the scenes look sometimes as well. Okay, next up, Ooh, this is fun. This one can re requires a little bit more like planning, but the good thing is that if you do this one, it often leads to really high conversions and click throughs. And this is to do some kind of like case study, okay? So perhaps you have like, you know, you're doing it with someone who may be like, bought one of your products or booked your services or attended an event or something like that. And now you do a case study and be like, hey, why don't we talk about what happened when you worked with me in some way or like bought my product or whatever. Let's go through like a case study. How did you grow? What kind of results did you get? All of that sort of thing. And again, people love this because we're all inherently nosy. Surprise, surprise. And so a case study and being like, oh, what did they do? What process, what did the process look like? How did it work out? Case studies can work really well. And again, they convert well. So people are more likely to click through over to your website, take a look at your services, products, offerings, whatever. So they're really good. Okay, another one kind of along the lines, we talked about a case study, but the next thing that you could recommend for a backlink would be maybe like a before and after. And again, the before and after could be them, all about them, the other person whose website you're talking about, especially if they've, you know, used your service, bought a product, like attended one of your events, whatever, but it could also be you sharing your own before and after. So your story that can work really well too. So you can take it, you know, one of the two different ways, but again, it shows kind of like the journey, the progress, the results you got, all of that sort of thing. Okay. Next one. Again, another one that converts really well is some sort of like testimonial. So someone sharing their own experience with, again, if they bought your product, if they like attended your event, used your service, any sort of, if they learned from you, from all of the content that you had, if they like use one of your like top blog posts to, you know, try something in their own way, whatever. But like a testimonial can be really powerful and, you know, you can make a bit more of like a story behind it. It doesn't have to just be literally like two or three lines of testimonial, but like make it a bit more of a, of an event on their website. That's a good thing. Okay. Next point is some sort of collab in a way, you know, like you could be, yeah, there's tons of different ways this could look. It could be like a combo of, you know, people combining some of their like designs, some of your services are getting melded together. It could be like product collab, any type of thing, but you know, a collab, it can take a bit more planning and stuff. And usually like, it, it's not like a quick term thing, but it can be a fantastic way to, you know, collaborate with somebody again in your niche, in a related niche or industry, someone, a vendor that maybe you work with, something like that. Um, but a collab can be great. Okay, next point too is you sharing expert advice. So again, you are probably, you have a website, you have a business, you are an expert in whatever little field or big field it happens to be. So again, come in and be like, you know, today we are lucky enough to have Charlotte, the Squarespace SEO expert coming on here and sharing whatever. So again, you come in, you can either do it very like 
you know, sharing your advice, just kind of like from the heart, whatever, it can be a bit more structured, whatever it happens to be. But again, expert advice is fantastic. And again, the way it positions you in that like backlink is really good too. Okay, next one, I love a comparison. So again, here you come in and you do like a this versus that, an A versus B. And a comparison is great because you, again, you're comparing and you're offering some of your own commentary. You're looking at it from like a practical point of view, all of that sort of thing. So I think that a comparison can be a great one as well. And again, you can kind of cater it. You know your own website, business, brand, whatever, better than anyone, but pick something that you can do and find a comparison angle and those ones can be really fun to pull together and like they also convert well okay next one as well is just like a bit of a like meet so and so and share your story so a sharing your story again you might have like covered little bits of this in some of the other topics that I talked about but like sharing your story and doing kind of like yeah, just an introduction to another person and why whatever your story is could be useful to the other person or platform's audience or something is really good, you know, like have kind of a profile done on you sort of thing. And those are awesome. Like people often like it can help increase the like, know, and trust factor, it gets people a bit more info about what you're doing and stuff. And yeah, sharing your story is really wonderful. Okay, and then the last one that I wanted to share is a good one, again, one that doesn't take a huge amount of prep work, but it would be you sharing your lessons learned. So maybe like top five things I learned in business or top five lessons I learned from pivoting from A to B or top five lessons from you know, the summer wedding season. I don't even know, like you can pick what it is, but people love a lessons learned. They love to hear like, oh, what did this expert or what did this person who's new to the industry or whatever it happens to be, but like people love to kind of be like, oh, well, what was surprising? What did you learn? Like, no, no, no. It can be so interesting to kind of, again, other people to like peek behind the curtain, if you will, and see what you have learned. So that is a pretty full list of different type of pitch ideas you can do when you are pitching for a backlink on another website. Okay. And I hope you found it really helpful. And again, I've kind of segmented it into little chunks, but you can go through this list and be like, oh, what was helpful to me? What did I find useful? What would I maybe want to do when, when you've gone through the other video where you identified, again, I'll link to it up above, but when you identified the other websites that you want to pitch to for a backlink, now you have ideas of what to pitch. So I hope this has been really helpful for you. If you are interested in Squarespace SEO or growing your website, online marketing, anything like that, then please take a look at the other videos that I have here on my channel. And also over on my website, I have loads more, um, you know, that free checklist that I mentioned, lots more like blog post resources, anything you want to know about Squarespace SEO, growing your website, online marketing, things like that. I've got you covered. So thanks so much for being here. I appreciate you watching and let me know in the comments down below if you try out any of these backlinks. All right. Backlinks pitch ideas. All right. That's it for now. I will see you again soon in the next video. Bye.